Hi, this is Genetics Lecture 2. Watch this lecture as many times as you need in order to fully understand the concepts. Let's get started. In the last lecture, uh, we discussed dominant and recessive traits. Most of the problems moving forward will use these two terms. However, we also need to discuss some exceptions to the rule. Remember, in science, there's always an exception. Uh, the first exception is incomplete dominance which says that the alleles are neither dominant nor recessive, but mixed. Think of incomplete dominance kind of like blending paints. Let's look at an example of what this means. So I have two different uh, flowers here. I have a red tulip and I have a white tulip. And their traits are expressed through incomplete dominance, which means that they're going to blend their colors together. Their offspring is going to be blended. What color do you think their offspring will be? Hopefully you said pink. All right. Next up, the next exception we have to the dominant recessive rule is codominance, which means existing together. The alleles do not blend, but they are both present. Let's look at an example here. Um, here we have two chickens. One is white and the other is black. Their alleles are codominant. So what do you think their offspring is going to look like? They're not going to blend, but they're both going to show up. Hopefully you said a chicken with both white and black feathers. All right, so I want you to remember that most of our work will involve just plain old dominant and recessive from the first lecture. The only time you should worry about incomplete or codominance is when the problem or question specifically states one of those two terms. But otherwise, it's just dominant and recessive. All right, these next two, two terms, uh, phenotype and genotype, are related. Phenotype is used to describe the visible appearance of a trait, like having blue eyes or curly hair or a short pea plant. If you are asked for a phenotype, you should describe the traits in words, usually involving an adjective. Think phenotype, P-H, means physical appearance. Now the next term, genotype, is the term used to describe uh, the allele, is used to describe the allele combinations and is expressed in capital or lowercase letters. It's the genetic type. So think genotype, G-E-N, means genetic, G-E-N, type. Um, I'm looking for letters. Big T, big T, big T, little t, little t, little t. So, to review, if I ask you for a phenotype, you give me words. If I ask you for a genotype, you give me two letters. Remember that. All right, this is the last slide, and these are, again, two very important terms uh, so that you all will be able to do the Punnett square problems that are coming on the next lecture. These two terms are homozygous and heterozygous. And homozygous, um, or purebred, they mean the same thing, means two identical alleles for a trait. So I have two big T's or two little t's. Homozygous meaning the same trait. Heterozygous, hetero meaning different, um, is used to describe the alleles when you have one big and one little. So one capital T, one lowercase t. So again, heterozygous means the same as hybrid. Homozygous means the same as purebred. Homozygous means two identical alleles, either both capital or both lowercase. Heterozygous means two different alleles, one capital, one lowercase. All right, that's it for this lecture. Um, I'll see you next time.